We all live busy lives, whether at home, at work or at play, and nearly all of these activities require energy in some form. Over the last few years, a lot of focus has been put on ways in which we can save energy, particularly in our homes and offices, and we should all be doing our bit. But what about the time we spend away from buildings that provide electricity at the simple flick of a switch? Our leisure time is becoming very precious to us as we all lead busy lives. Whether we choose to sail, motor, camp or just get away from it all, we create a high demand for portable energy and our carbon footprint also includes those devices that rely on batteries to deliver this power. In 2002, Stephen Voller set about tackling the problem of how we can deliver portable power without creating even more strain on our environment. Where we're focused as a business is in replacement generators. So there are generators which are used in the marine industry, in leisure vehicles, motorhomes and recreational vehicles, and in the construction sector. What we're trying to do is to replace that with a low emission product, which also has the benefit of running very quietly and without the vibration problems. Also, the systems have a much longer maintenance interval and that means that the cost of running the fuel cell systems is much, much lower than that of an equivalent generator. Making fuel cells is quite complex and we need to bring together different engineering teams with different skills. Specifically here we have electrical engineers, chemical engineers and chemists all working on the basic principle of fuel cells which is extracting electrical energy from chemical energy. Controlling that process requires software and hardware skills and also the skills of multidisciplinary teams to put it all together. We've been working in the UK in each of these areas to put together the systems that our customers want to use. The important thing is that we make the systems very simple to operate but of course to do that it's very complicated under the covers to get all the components to work together and for the systems to work reliably. The future is very exciting and I believe that um, our children and our grandchildren will go into the museums and they'll look at the appliances that we have today and they'll ask the question, what is that power lead coming out the back? Because in the future everything will be powered um, independently by fuel cells and that means that we won't have to draw energy from the grid which will have a dramatic effect on global warming and the emissions that you get from the large power stations. Traditionally, generators have delivered most portable power needs. However, this technology is not an efficient way to charge and care for batteries. Battery bank sizes are specified to meet the application's baseload and battery technology benefits from a slow charging rate. In contrast, a traditional generator is usually specified to meet the application's peak load, which is achieved by running the generator at full power. Although it can reach around 20% efficiency when run at full load, a generator's efficiency falls dramatically, often to less than 10% when run at a battery kinder half load. Once we add other factors such as noise, vibration and emissions, there's a strong argument suggesting that a diesel generator is the wrong technology to charge batteries. This is where the Voller Emerald fuel cell system comes in. It's a modern, clean and efficient way to generate electricity using hydrogen, the most abundant but also the most difficult to capture material on Earth. Fuel cell systems usually need bottled hydrogen as their fuel source, which limits their ability to run remote from the grid. To overcome this problem, we've designed a totally unique product. The Voller Emerald fuel cell system has been developed to internally produce all the hydrogen it needs to power the fuel cell by chemically converting LPG, a widely available and portable fuel. The Voller Emerald System's electronics carefully feed hydrogen and air into the fuel cell in order to create a controlled electrochemical reaction on the fuel cell's special membrane. 
The membrane is a thin, flexible film that is coated on both sides with a catalyst layer. One side is the anode and the other is the cathode. When hydrogen is fed to one side and oxygen to the other side of this membrane, electricity is created. As well as creating a small amount of water, an important byproduct of this electrochemical process is heat. As a result, the fuel cell creates electricity for recharging batteries and heat, which can be used to replace or complement water and room heating. Pure electrical efficiency of 25% and combined power and heat efficiencies of more than 60% makes the Voller Emerald fuel cell a truly portable and powerful alternative to the traditional generator. As we've explained, the Voller Emerald fuel cell gives you power when and where you need it. This could be a remote dwelling, a construction site, an RV or a marine application. This boat will show us how the Vola Emerald technology works in a practical context. The boat is fitted with many standard power-hungry devices you'd expect to be using while sailing today. Throughout the day the power delivered by the batteries will change. In the morning we'll use many interior devices like lights, phone chargers, even TVs. But, as we set sail, we then use navigation systems, GPS, wind instruments, navigation lights. The Voller Emerald fuel cell works with the batteries to supply the boat's average consumption of electricity, unlike a generator, which is constantly reacting to every small change in consumption and, in some cases, oversupplying. This example shows how the fuel cell has applications in many different environments where you could be away from a grid for a considerable amount of time. The Voller Emerald fuel cell is a new technology developed for people who want to work and play hard. It means you don't have to compromise because you know that you can use less energy and reduce your impact on the environment.